find this watch, it keeps zooming in. When my arms hit this wee turning dial, it's a bit of a nightmare. Pretty much across though. I don't want to go too close to shore. This is my new setup. Just figured it out. This way I won't zoom in every two seconds. I use my Apple Watch to um, control the camera a bit, or try to anyway. And every time I move my arm, it spins the wee daily thing, which means zoom in or zoom out like this. Zoom in, and it zooms out. So if I leave it on my boat, it shouldn't zoom in. Fourteen minutes to come across my van way over there in the distance of the white thing through the trees. See the white thing way over there, that's where I come from. Fourteen minutes to get across, that's not bad. Right, here's my setup. So I've got so I had a pike fishing setup, all the lures and everything, new rod, reel before. And I've lost the tackle box, so I've got a couple lures. I've got my old reel in there, um, the line, I've got wood, nice oak, beautiful, my chippy, that's my dinner, an iron brew, my net, my pike rod, my fly rod, my clothes, no that's my sleeping bag and my sleeping mat, fly fishing tackle, in there's my clothes, camp shoes, crocs, classics. My watch for the camera. You can see it. That's what comes up as you go. And then this is where I kneel. And then nothing there because all the weights at the front for me to steer. So I'll take you into my campsite. This is a lovely spot, honestly, it's so beautiful. So this is the setup. I'll bring it around. Nice wee. I mean, when that fire's going tonight, that's going to be lovely. That's gonna hold the heat in lovely. And I'll probably sleep in my tent. This is a Hennessy hammock, Hennessy tarp. I think it's a Safari XXL. And this is the Bergos Peak 3.3 Pro. New to me. Got it on eBay for like 100 odd quid. Bargain. And this is my surroundings. Pretty showered for the wind in here. And it's just the rain. So it really hasn't taken long at all for the midges to realize that I'm here. So it's time to get a fire on, get some smoke in the air, and get this place midget proof. Get some firewood going. Midges already, Jesus. I don't know if I get eaten that bad by midges, but today, fuck. Get this on. Get this place rid of the midges for a bit. Ow. Plan is to get a nice fire going, a nice base. I'll get out and do some fishing once we're onto my thicker section of wood. So, I think there's a lot of people out there that like the idea of camping, that won't wild camp because you can't go to the toilet out here. 
Well, you can, but there's not, you know, your usual conveniences of a fresh running toilet. But the joys of a wild camping trip is you can have a fire. It gets rid of the midges, gets rid of the clegs, you know, keep the smoke in. You know, the joys of this, ham this hammock and tarp that's hanging over my tent is help control a bit of the smoke in here. I'll find a nice log, I'll come and sit down beside the fire. It'll be nice. I'll bring my mats over from my, cam my, ha my canoe. So that's the fire stocked up. Time for me to go get my dinner. On the menu tonight isn't fish. <laughs> And this is a catch and release lock only. So on the menu is steak pie and chips for the chippy. Lovely. An iron brew. And I'm going to treat myself to a dairy milk. That fire will go for maybe an hour, I think, before it starts to simmer down. So I'll go do a wee bit of fishing and uh, come back in an hour. It's seven o'clock just now. So I'll stock it up then. Place to eat your dinner, eh? That's not bad. That's a steak pie and chips, fairly chippy. Lovely. Here's the scary bit. This is how I locked my phone earlier. Luckily, it was on the shore. Cheers. So we got to see the Highland Coos. It's uh, been an hour I've been on the water. So then we go back. Check fire, maybe do a wee bit of fishing at the far side. So, stick this on, I'm going to go up the lock a bit and then cut across and that'll be very similar to what I have to do tomorrow to get back to my van to go to work. It only takes 10 minutes to get across or 15 minutes, that's great. I was thinking it was going to take much longer. My sleeping mat that I use and I like, I got it on sale at Cottsworld Outdoors in Stirling, which is the people I tend to go to for any of my camping and hiking needs. I seem to know their stuff. I use the mountain equipment. Doesn't say the model. Mountain equipment, sleeping mat. I think I paid something like 80 quid. And it's, it does me great. Nice and easy to set up. We just turn this so that's shut. And it guys. Pull it open. <clears throat> just like that, that's it done. So I'll put that in my tent. And on tonight's occasion. I'll be sleeping with my head at this side of the tent because I've put the tent in a big ditch down there. So my feet are in a big it's not it's not that big, but it's uh there's definitely a divot in the ground. And a sleeping bag. I definitely need to get a better sleeping bag. But for now, this does mean the summer. 
OEX the Fathom EV400 it packs quite light um, it's small as well you can really compact it it's not down synthetic but it does make for the summer months it's, you know I could I could probably sleep in that right now it's just dark enough nice and it's got plenty of space for all my gear like I didn't really know what to bring today whether I'd use my hammock or not so um, I've got my big Lomo tarp it's huge all my other stuff like clothes and stuff is in here sleeping bag back can go in here keep that together I've just realised I've left my head torch in my van there's always something you leave behind, isn't there, on these things? Cam looks good though, doesn't it? I love it here. Um, so I'm gonna nip over, that well, says 10 minutes or something, and get my head torch, cause just in case I need it. So that's me back from my paddle across the lock to get my head torch. I also changed my hat, cause this uh, has a Better hold of the head touch, better visibility from it. So, I'm just gonna chill here for maybe like an hour or something. I've got a book to read. <laughs> it's about how to fly fish, because I'm a beginner fisherman. I might go cast a rod for half an hour. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, the second time out in the canoe. I look forward to taking my wee boy out maybe next year. I'll get a wee bit better on the canoe and uh, he'll be able to come out canoeing and camping with his daddy which will be nice and we can do more of these adventures together There's only so much getting bitten by midges I can take. And I've had enough. <laughs> Either way, no catches, no bites. Fantastic night. It'll just be amazing. I've got to practice my canoeing, my paddling, probably I should say. Practice my Indian stroke. Quite happy with that, to be honest. J stroke's not the best, but my Indian stroke's good. Pretty confident with that. I'll be able to get across to the van tomorrow with it. And yeah, I've just been able to chill and think and relax. Take some good footage, I think. Obviously, obviously it's not as good as a lot of other people, but you know, I'm just beginning my adventure. Good morning. I slept great. I plan to get up at five and go for a paddle. But I've been sleeping good, so I went back to sleep. I set an alarm for half six just in case. Because I need to get to work. That's being gone. <laughs> so I need to get up. But I slept good. I wish I wasn't working. I wish I could sleep more. So yeah, take me up. Morning, that's me up and about. I've uh, obviously I've set a fire. I intended to film it, but I was quite chilly, so I thought I'd just get the fire on. It's a, uh, ah, it's quite chilly this morning. The clouds are nice and low. Hardly any wind, but it's certainly blowing the way I want it to. It's blowing back towards my van, so that's going to be nice in the canoe home. It's currently about seven o'clock. I hopefully will be at the van by 8. If I'm at the van by 8, that's fine. If not, I'll just have to, you know, rush over. 
rush about getting the dogs. I've got my boots on drying. They're up just above the fire. They're soaking. Um, that was good. Good sleep. Wasn't much noises. A couple of cracks and bangs through the fire. I hear the burn all night, which is lovely. And uh, I felt there was loads of space in that in that tent. I woke up a couple times cold. That sleeping bag, it's not the best. <laughs> I need to get a better one. Um, you know, a more um, a proper three season rather than that. It's just a summer one. So yeah, it's just time to pack it all down. I'll take the hammock and tarp down first, pack that away, and then I'll get my tent down. It went up easy, so I'd imagine it's going to go down easy. It's just a shame. I forgot to bring a wee towel. I normally bring a microfiber towel, so it's just dry it off, which is always a good shout. So yeah, I'm just going to chill by the fire for 10 minutes or something, and then start doing that. I find it crazy that that tarp and the hammock came in this bag. And this is, his. you know, it must have been packed so well by the guys. The Hennessy hammocks. <coughs> this is just a wrap bag, it's Thank you camper spot for a lovely night, it was exactly what I needed, a little bit of relaxation and getting the heat together. It is important this, connect with nature again, get out, discover who you are. For me, I don't really like summer that much. It's nice, like the hot weather. I like swimming with the dogs. A wee bit of wild swimming, you know. It's great. But everywhere's just so busy. Especially this year with the COVID. Everybody's uh, just staying in Scotland or even people from England are coming up all the time. But why not? It's beautiful out here, you know. Who can blame them? But people like myself that actually live here and you know enjoy the peace and quiet of it it's a bad downer but to be honest the bugs are bad in summer so it's fine we can come up and enjoy that hard miss of the bugs i had such a good sleep i've not slept for a full night in over a year my wee boy callum he's not a sleeper at all he's up four times sometimes more Every single night, screaming. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's night terrors or something. Heathen. 
there's always something in there. So, it's been over a year since I've slept, full night. Let these guys go past. And even um, like when I go camping normally, I still wake up because I'm just used to it. You know, I'm still up four times a night. Just you just get used to being up. But last night I slept all through the night. I woke up a couple of times just because I was cold, but I just put my hands back in the sleeping bag and I was fine. It was very quick. It was just oh, I'm cold. Back to sleep. Um, so it was so nice to get sleep. Honestly, one of the most valuable things in life is sleep, isn't it? rest so I'm a happy guy today feel good I need to do this more that's for sure it always amazed me how people used one side of the canoe before but now I'm getting used to it so my phone died just as I pulled in at the last second there as I was coming up to the wee bay so I don't know if I caught that last bit of footage or not um, that's the van all packed all good a wee bit behind schedule but that's fine I can make up for that it's okay um, what a trip I've had I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have enjoyed it please give me a like please give me a subscribe plenty more to come